Let's get rolling with Great. stream. Excellent. And hope it doesn't crash this time. Now, last time we killed Caesar. All hail Caesar and those who we kill hereafter. We're heading for the strip. And we were going to see the White Hands. White Glove Society? Yeah, the White Glove Society. Sorry. I can't remember what the White Hands were, but I remember. Are you thinking of White Legs? Well, I know the White Legs were those ones in, um, in the, in the Divide, not the Divide, what but... What do you need? Uh, I need to get going. But... Who the hell was... What's, what's with you, huh? Was he the... What's deal, the, buddy? Was Maybe. he the, the dude who told us where Caesar's stuff was? Maybe. If so... Yeah. Glitched out. Maybe. But, okay, he's still there. Yep. Okay. Glitched out, buddy. Uh, but no. Um. Look at the uh, You okay? Oh, one of my gums is deciding it is sore. Oh. So is it that one over there that you're making beeline for, huh? Yeah, that's where you told me to go. Oh, sure. Well, I told you to go to the white gloves. So, I'm assuming you know where to go. Probably drink. Seems that's where we Ooh, we also need to offload quite a bit. Well, did you want to do that now? Or? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright, then where do you want to offload? Uh, go talk to the lady who's like around here, see if she'll take a bunch of stuff. What lady? Uh, the seller, the market seller, who's like right next to where those guys saying they wanted to yeah her okay see if she's got enough cats to take at least some weight off us i mean probably not much uh let's see what okay 280 280 has she got anything good for us to buy no oh sunset says brother wow bending such rare and valuable weird yeah, yeah she's got 280 ballistic no, she can't. No, she cannot afford that. We're not selling a Benny suit. Or Caesar's uh, armor. The shotgun, yeah. Oh, slightly too much. Yeah. Um, so that was roughly about 30 ish. 30 -ish. Yeah, specifically 26 is what we're looking for. Uh, 21. Uh, eight. Uh, we could sell it to Daenerys. Good, but that doesn't reduce our weight yeah. at all. Yeah. Oh, expensive. Uh, potato crisps. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna leave it there? Yeah. Let's have a look at our weight now. It's this. You didn't sell it much. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, um, the vendor and the lucky, and the lucky thirty-eight. Is a vendor and the lucky thirty-eight? Isn't there? I don't think there is. Uh, well, we could also dismiss our companions and boot off to the to the thing we bought for a few minutes. All right. Yeah. Wait or dismiss, I think. Uh, da, 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 companion protocol terminate. Okay, return base. Okay. And he should do the same. Yeah. Caesar's dead. Betty didn't see he's coming. <laughs> I wonder if he had coffee, coffee that morning. Still, it's not going to stop the Legion. Might not even slow them down. Okay. Uh, that just means we've got some more work to do. Yeah, it does. But we got these bastards pretty good today. Whatever happens from here on out, we killed that prick in the middle of his fortress. We did. Ought to give the rest of them something to think about. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, think we should part ways now. Okay. I'll make my way there. Cool. And now if we jump to the big MT, we can also get the auto dog to fix what ails us. Uh, uh, exteriors, okay. Fine, well, we can simply travel somewhere exterior. Yep. Man. You thought you could hide from me? Oh, hi. 
Ah, uh, everyone wants to kill us, huh? Yeah. I don't think she wants to kill us anymore. We can take her stuff and sell it wherever we're going. Jeez, she doesn't have much. Yeah, might as well strip it. Shouldn't put us overweight. Nope. Don't put us overweight. Go. <sighs> oh, big empty transporter. Transportal Honda. Wee! Wee! Where we go? Okie dokie. Let us get ourselves. Well, first we should be staying for any Probably, um, equipment repair, right? Yeah, because I think we wanted to, um, do the, uh, the helmet. The helmet was what was getting really bad. And... Oh, so baby. Not too bad. Might as well, right? Uh... And the rest we don't care about. Yep. Yeah. We should be staying for any... Go buy some things. Okay. Nice. So, oh, he's got 308 rounds if we wanted some. I mean, yeah, we can get like some what, 9 mils from the guy. Yep. Not many, but you know. Yeah. And then, let's see, you got any. Uh, stem packs. Stem packs. Yeah. All right. Um, He's got thin and thick red paste. He does, because we sold it to him. Yeah, I imagine that was from all the uh, thing me bobs. Yeah, beer. Uh, a suit and his armor going in the hole. Castle plan. Uh, difficult hand. Yep. Displacer glove. This displacer glove for unique. No, I don't think so. It's very good, but it's not unique. Rifle. Uh, a Gladius. Maria is unique. What fruit we can sell two of. Thanks for that, Benny. Crisps. Arthas, yep. Uh, Peter Water, Red Scorpion Glands, nice. Uh, scotch. Might as well get rid of the salient green. Uh, two plates. Uh, a flag. Oh. <laughs> Whiskey. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Here we go. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Let me go back out. We can also take a quick journey to our um, home base, put them in the safe. Yeah. Oh, that's about to attack us, isn't it? One way to find out. Kill it. Not no more, it ain't. That way, we know if it's going to attack us. The <laughs> answer is no, because we killed it. Yep. Uh, no way. Nope, no commentary today. Not yet. Peanut Gallery has not arrived. Let's go toss these uniques into the fucking vault. Stuff them in the hole. Uh, so it well, they'll is... just be weapons and armor, right? So. Yep, and that was the only that. one of the weapons. Yep, so apparel, Benny suit, and Caesar's armor. There we go. There we go. Wait, was that some food on our desk that we'd never grabbed? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Goes. Sure. Hmm. Weird. All right, uh, back yeah. to Lucky 38, I guess? Yeah. Oh, hang on. There's something over to the right we haven't explored. To the right. Oh, sorry. Every single fucking time. Every single fucking time. Yeah. Uh, up. Oh. Yep, there you go. Uh, Actually, it's strict strength. north. Game. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we want. Ooh So 
we're all good for the uh, events tomorrow? Um, should be, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Cool. Don't have to worry about sudden unauthorized small things. Where to, Paul? No. <laughs> and it would be the presidential suite. We like those presidential suites. And they... Actually, I just realized it um, will tell you uh, where they are, because you can see people on the map. All right. Yeah. Hey, Edie. Okay, hey, companion protocol begin. Okay. And then he's on there. Hey, Boone. Is it time? It's time. <laughs> sweet. I roll her sweet. All right, we do now. Cena. Casino floor. Right, so let's go finish what we're doing with the um with the white gloves. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Uh yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. How do you know no about that? The lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. Okay. It could be a great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, all right, a moment. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to agree so easily. That's yep. great. Here, take this packet sniffer. <laughs> It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. You know where we have a very convenient data point to Mr. House's network that doesn't involve us going inside? Uh, yes, man. yes, man. He doesn't actually have access completely. I don't yeah. think that that'll work that way, but... White hands first, then we'll, white gloves first, then we'll deal with... We'll try it. Yes, man, see what happens. <laughs> well, that's your fault, buddy. Why can't I jump here? Oh, shit. You glitched yourself out. Oh. It was but temporary. Guess this character doesn't know how to walk on grass. Well, the signs do say keep off. Oh, the peanut gallery has begun! What's up? It's Keeper of I'm here, just not talking, distracted by the other screen. And they've, uh, celebrated their eight, in his 18 months tier of the subscription! Um, Sneak the 50. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything... The masks are the creepiest bit. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Yeah. Where did you take my weapons? So they'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Okay. Pleasure speaking to you. All right. All right, here we are. Well, let's left hand roll it after we go through, like, the central area. Those Legion elite troops are back. Hick Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Gonna have a whole lot more specific, but no, I haven't. <laughs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour, and my own son just up and disappears on me. Uh, Ken, you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things uh. over with the white glove books. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. It's that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'd show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Oh, okay, let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. 
Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one you on face. <laughs> There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you could get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the subjects. If he's still alive. Uh, so you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Big owners, too. Cool. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the city. Ah, started. you're a land baron. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. What didn't you have to do here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here. And I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Surprising. You should talk to the kings instead. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me. They got to play by my rules. I'm Not rich and therefore I get sick. I'd want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. And yeah, I was surprised you didn't just have somebody watching your kid. What did you say about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Okay. I'll be here. Well, I still feel bad for you about your kid, so I'm going to keep an eye out for the kid. The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Gambler, gambler. Bartender. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention, too. Uh, see what you have for sale? Sounds like sarsaparilla. Also, I'm pretty sure that, like Nuka Cola does the same thing now since we have the red away thing. If we wanted to get that as well, maybe, maybe later. Thanks. I'm doing happy hours. Also, I was surprised that we uh... Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many words that are familiar in that sentence. That's hilarious. White Glove Freedom, that's the one that took our weapons. I don't know who Marjorie is. Alright, let's see if we can find ourselves some other people then. Yep. You'd be crazy to put your money on either side of the coming battle. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it, this place is extremely unnerving, and I'm not quite sure why. Yep. Do I want to talk to the desk? Yes. Mortimer. How may I be of service? Uh, any work that needs done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Mm. Okay, yep, ask about the organization. My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Why am I thinking Not everyone can wear the finest nice clothes. <laughs> And eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people mm -hmm. are the most deserving. That's what the White Glove Society is all about. Goodbye. Well, I've decided I hate you, fuckers. Real person? Nope. Gambler. By talking to one of its leaders. Okay, uh, yep, so, finding Marjorie, okay, Marjorie, yep. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Okay, do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. Yeah, I you're I myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. 
I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. <laughs> this again? I thought this was all settled. I answered <laughs> the investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. Now, some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. Yeah, I it's written in the chapter. For the, uh, for the public, um, <laughs> we were discussing this after last episode, and my suspicion based on the comments by don't look in the basement. No, really, don't look in the basement. I suspected a human meat farm. That kind of confirms it for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, who did she talk to? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. <laughs> well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Okay, um, yeah, I'm missing somebody else. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? Also, I'm I know that the it's a man she has probably, on the not premises. the disappearance. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own room. she's more upset that it's two disappearances. Yeah, if it's there anyway, I can put and talk to the investigator. Well, yes, I think so, if he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see? The White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Well, uh, so I wanted to talk business with you. What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed ramen steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. Ramen steak. A delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or... A family restaurant. Mm -hmm. So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. Yeah. How dare everyone want food? So you guys are seeing human flesh. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base <laughs> since settling into our new home. I've seen to you that those days are behind us. You were made farm in the basement. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear it directly from her. No. Ta-ta. She wants to live her comfortable life in my face. Fine. Uh, okay. Alright, let's have a look around this, because this is the restaurant, is it? Seems to be the restaurant. Yeah, I'm absolutely certain that those are fucking things in the... We're gonna find a way into the basement, and it's gonna be people. I'm surprised it doesn't even have, like, quotations around the Brahmin. I wonder what that door was. This door? Yeah. I don't want to know what's behind that door. You don't yeah. want to know what's behind that door. Ah, uh, and everyone's watching us, so I assume it's a bad time to try and break in. Hmm. Well, where's you now? Back whence we came? Yeah, back whence we came, and let's keep looking around. What's the door on the other side there? 
Bath house. Bath house. Let's go have a look around in the bath house. Look at all these Bethesda naked people around. Absolutely Bethesda naked. Oh, door. Door. Sauna. The sauna. Aw, still stealing. Huh. Interesting. What do I double hull? Uh, probably for insulation, right? But, like, the steam room is the central one for that, whereas the other one seems like a cooling down room. You know what? The leech troops are bad. Is that just me, or does it not really look like there's much water in the pool? Um... There's some water in the pool. There's some water in the pool. <laughs> I like how drinking the water is stealing, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the hotel rooms. Yep, let's go have a look at the hotel rooms. Yeah. Uh, gambler stealing, okay. Oh, there goes somebody. Caesar's fate yeah. was sealed from the start. Yes, yes it was. The start when he put people up on a thing. Oh, what was that on top of the uplift? Just new cola bottles. Yeah. New cola bottles. Why is sweet? Traveler. Traveler. That's probably the one where our person is. Well, we don't have a key. Did you want to go try and find one? Yeah, maybe if we talk to more more. Oh, wait, that one also requires a that key. That one also requires a key. But it's not a named suite the way the other one was. Yeah. Let's go down the stairs. Oh. Oops. Ah, I see. Yeah. One second, folks. Boop, 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 boop. Or as the current meme goes. Seems that all our preparations were for naught. Eva's scared of cat. Have we told her that the cat is more scared of her? And I've told Chris that, yeah. Yeah, the cat is likely to be outside and invisible. Oh, well, I don't want to make her uncomfortable. We'll just have a hangout somewhere else, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the cat cafe. I mean, no. One is closed on Mondays, too. That would be cruel. Alright, sorry about that, folks. But if I had waited until the end of the stream, he'd probably be asleep. Yep, and it's something tomorrow, so... Yeah. Uh, is that the door we came in? Yes. Uh, then let's go the other way and go down the stairs. Okie doke. Well, you wanted to go to Mortimer, so I was just heading well, backwards. We'll, we'll, we'll go to Mortimer eventually, but uh, snooping time is now. Snoop, 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 snoop. Hmm. Casino floor. And if that's where we started, we can go grab the key. Hmm. If it if is. If we can load. Ooh. Actually, I would have clicked the uh, load before doing this. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling it is frozen up behind the thing. Yep. So, and apparently it stopped streaming, so... Oh no. It better it's my thing glitching out. Uh, just try something here. I swear we had it a moment ago, so let's see if it's... Well, I'll just control or delete again. Let's see if this fucker... Wants to go or what? Yep. Always got to be this way, huh? Yep. 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 It's working. It was just glitching out on my end. Well, and... she doesn't want to control or delete, so... Yep. We're just going to have...